Hey guys, this is Joel here from joelwebsites.com. In today's video, I'm going to teach you about push notifications. So there was a subscriber whose name Ganesh, he emailed me about how to go about push notifications in Cordova app. So I'm going to tell you exactly how it's done and my experience with using push notifications in Cordova. Then there are several other techniques in trying to achieve the same thing that are push notifications. So people generally use ionic push and all that but I find that too complicated. So I hope this video is easy to understand and it helps you set up push notifications in your Cordova app. So stay tuned guys and keep watching this video. Guys setting up push notifications on Cordova apps is really easy. For the first thing you got to do is install the Cordova push notification plugin. That is a really famous plugin. If you have a, if you do just do a Google search, then you will get this plugin. Okay, so this is a plugin that needs to be installed in your Cordova app. The second step is to understand the concept of push notification. In this, you have to understand that every Android device. Um, my mo mobile is in the other room, but let's assume that this is a mobile. Okay. And this is another mobile. So every device has a unique Android ID. I repeat, every device has a unique Android ID. I mean Android. <laughs> so basically what happens is that when we install this push notification plugin into the Kodo app, so wherever this push notification plugin is, in, uh, if this app is running, then this you will able to get the ID for the particular mobile. Okay, so every device will have a unique will have a unique code. So this code is a really long string and basically this is the ID. Okay, so this is the main thing that you need to understand. Um, now just in that hundred let's say not take 100 but let's say there are 10 mobile devices um, so every all the 10 devices that who are using your mobile app are going to have this id okay so then um, now suppose if you want to send a push notification to device number one or device number five let's say so i need to know the id for device number five okay so I will provide the code in the description for sending the Cordova push notification. Okay, it's really simple. I'm going to use PHP to send this push notification. Um, I, if I don't show it in the video, I will surely mention it in a blog post that is mentioned in the description of this video. So don't forget to check this description, the description of this video. The third or oh, I don't know whatever, but the next step to understand in push notification is that you need to have a developer id in the google developer console okay so actually what happens is that we have to send particular devices put push notifications so we have to mention the ip address we have to generate a key from the google developer console and we just need to pass that uh, enter that key in the code it's really simple okay once you read the code you will able to understand it flawlessly so that key is just a verification thing okay so the most difficult part in setting up push notification is this that you have to get the key and make sure you're doing it correctly because there are several methods of getting the key and it's it is a bit confusing the one that I found most successful is by using the server IP address and so there are three four methods like one you can generate with the particular web browser I'm not sure it's not web browser but one is for the server and there are one technique for the domain and I'm not sure about the others but the server one worked for me so I just mentioned the IP address for my server and there was a nice key that was generated and I just put it in my PHP code and after executing the PHP code with the device ID mentioned obviously of the mo mobile so I was getting the push notification sent to my mobile. So I hope you this video helped you a lot and helped you understand push notifications in 
kodoga um thank you guys for watching this video all the important things are mentioned below in the description if i miss anything i will surely mention it in the description so thank you guys keep subscribe to my channel if you this video help you a lot don't forget to check my other videos because i work really hard in creating other videos that are helping and people are appreciate appreciating it so i hope it helps you too and helps all the other developers in some way or the other so the best tips and comments come from you so i would like you to mention a comment in the comment section and stay tuned guys and keep watching bye bye and see you in my next video